Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. You know, any day that I can actually get up out of bed and, well, actually, any day that I wake up next to my beautiful bride and I am physically able to get out of bed is going to be a good day because if I can do that much, there's nothing else that I can't handle. I will find a way as long as I've got my health. So I'm appreciative of that. And every day I try to keep doing as much as I can and to keep you guys informed with the what's happening, what's going on, and my crazy theories about what's happening with the Dallas Cowboys. And, you know, it's interesting to say the least being a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber because for the most part, you know, there's probably more Dallas Cowboys YouTubers than anybody else. I, I would think that there are because, you know, as a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber, just having Jerry Jones is enough to keep you busy. But with Jerry and then, of course, Stephen Jones and then, of course, everything else that is about the Cowboys, there's always stuff dropping down. I don't know what it's like for, say, you know, a Tampa Bay Buccaneers YouTuber or... Well, I'd say the Jets probably have a little bit of drama there, too. But, you know, you think about, you know, Cincinnati. They don't have the drama like the Dallas Cowboys. Dan Salio pointed it out. You know, you're, you're like a soap opera, which we really are. And anytime anything happens across the NFL, it's always looked at upon like a player. If there's a player out there that's having a contract issue or has to be traded, immediately they will be linked to the Dallas Cowboys. That's just the way it is. With the exception of, I haven't heard too many people saying Brandon Ayuk would be linked to the Dallas Cowboys, which I'm kind of surprised by. Um, and you would say that the San Francisco 49ers probably wouldn't be trading um, Brandon Ayuk in the division. I mean, excuse me, in the conference, that especially to the Cowboys. Not unless the Cowboys say, we'll give you three number ones, like you know the deal we did with Trey Lance, which doesn't seem to be good. Um, reading an article earlier today that a lot of the Dallas Cowboys uh, insiders and things are kind of looking and saying, hmm, yeah, be that as it may. Here's more drama for you um, for the Dallas Cowboys because we're hearing that one of the greatest coaches in the history of football who lost his job this year wants to get back in next year. And we know who that person is and who he has a relationship with. Let's listen to Tom Passero, who was on Rich Eisen's show and talking about that. About him, how smart he is, how fast he processes, how much he wants it. Yeah, he's not the biggest guy and he doesn't have the biggest arm, but all those intangibles are there. Guys like that tend to have a pretty low fail rate and we can describe fail in different ways mm -hmm. you know is it all on zach wilson that it didn't work out in new york probably not but he certainly just didn't play good enough we saw zach wilson play pretty good football at times yeah. it just but there was more bad than good when you broke it down and they had to move on we're nowhere close to that yet with bryce young so let's see him again and let's find out what bryce young actually has under different circumstances, still has pressure, but I don't think nearly the level of pressure and expectation that he did a year ago. Hey, hey oh, look at you, Mike. I like that. Here it comes. Now we're talking. When does Bill Belichick coach again and with, with whom? whom? That is a fantastic question. I, I believe, I know this, Bill Belichick intends to coach in 2025. He's staying engaged in the game. He's showing up to roast. He's now going to be on Inside the NFL. We've seen him showing up to different events and high school, you know, at the Manning Passing Academy. I would anticipate that he's out. We saw him at the University of Washington where his son Steve now is the defensive coordinator. He'll be out. He'll be trying to better himself. He'll be trying to remind you that he's not Darth Vader, that there's more <laughs> to Bill Belichick. He's done a good job of that so far. There's Reed media Benny stuff. He, I mean, he, he did win a sports semi, right, Brockman? He did. Unlike this show, he, he won a sports semi. He has one. For his work on NFL Go 100. I, don't know. I thought you had one. I didn't. It's, Rich has a bunch of Emmys up in there. I thought yeah. one of them had to be for the show. Well, Tom, the thing is, it's an honor to be nominated. It's, it's not. That's true. That's total crap. I, I haven't been nominated. 
I, I don't know how that's possible. I'm I, telling you, no there's nominations for me. Don't listen to him. It's You're not first or last. I will say, or to answer the question, handicap it. He's fully, he's fully invested in. He wants to coach again. He wants to pursue the all-time wins record. Mm -hmm. Those are things that really matter a lot to Bill Belichick. Uh, where is that going to be? I think that it's going to depend on a lot of different factors. I know that everybody's been connecting him to Dallas because he has a relationship with Jerry Jones. I don't see that. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm saying I don't see that as a fit. Number one, yes, Mike McCarthy's in a contract year. He's won 12 games each of the last three years. They got to do better in the playoffs. He knows mm -hmm. that. Everybody knows that. I don't, I don't sit here and say I think Mike McCarthy's not the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys in 2025. But also, even if he's not, I don't really see Bill Belichick functioning in an environment where Jerry oversees personnel, where Jerry gives press conferences after games, where Jerry runs everything the way that Jerry wants to. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jerry split up with Jimmy Johnson after two consecutive Super Bowl wins. If him and Bill Belichick can't be 100% on the same page, if Bill Belichick's walking to the podium at AT&T Stadium and being told, yeah, Jerry just was outside saying he didn't like that play call on third and seven. How's that going to go over? <laughs> I cannot not imagine gonna that this is going to that's going to that's going to come out well. I think not. that with with Belichick, you have to look at what are the places that are in good shape from a quarterback perspective. Either they have one or they have the resources to get one. Who is in shape from a salary cap perspective where they've got the ability to build things a little bit more quickly where he doesn't have to go in there and spend two years making hard personnel decisions, mm -hmm. cutting guys, trading guys just to get things back because he's going to want to be able to get this thing rolling. He's not getting younger. Bill's what, 73, I believe? 72 or 73. You're only as young as who you're dating, Tom. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to leave that true. one right Ooh. there. I'm glad. If there's a question in here leave about that, that, I might have to pass. Uh, <laughs> 72. Okay. But I think it's got to be It's got to be a, f a spot where... All right, so here's, here's my take on it. It doesn't really matter if it is a fit or not. You know, and I know, that anytime the Cowboys lose, that the rumors of Bill Belichick coaching the Dallas Cowboys... We'll start. It, it's it, let's can, uh, can we can we agree on this one right now? Because you think about this, this is Sean Payton all over again. Remember, literally, which is kind of crazy, that Sean Payton actually called Mike McCarthy to say, "I'm not interested in taking your job, fellas." Um, could you imagine if some woman? called your woman and she said oh you don't have to worry about me i'm not interested in your man <sighs> could you just could you imagine that because that's what we're talking about right here so it will constantly be who's the next one coming in to replace Mike McCarthy. And of course, it will always be the speculation of Bill Belichick. All right, good people. We're getting it in. Tomorrow's already Thursday. And we are getting closer and closer to talking about. Because we sitting here, I'm supposed to be the franchise player. And we're in here talking about practice. Well, 